What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another Scum video. I hope you're all doing well. As always, thank you very much for your ongoing support of the channel, guys. Greatly appreciate it. If you haven't hit the like and subscribe, then don't forget to do so by the end of the video. Thank you very much. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about farming. So Tommy Slab has posted some more, and we are getting more and more and more of these little treats, these little leaks from Twitter, and also uh, on their development posts as well on Steam. So you can see that they're actually working on the farming widgets and stuff like this as well. Now, the other day, I did post a video showing the marijuana, obviously one of the uh, plants that you can grow on the island. Now there are going to be two different types of plants you can grow which you can see in this image right now. You should be able to see that and you can see at the bottom there it does show that there are two different types which is flowers for more decorative for the more decorative type of survivor and you have the vegetables as well and fruits and stuff like that but you do have the decorative flowers which obviously you can't you know you can only grow them for show and nothing else really if you want to make your base look nice and pretty uh, etc and all that good stuff so you can see we have the farming now how long is it going to be till farming comes in we don't know but we know it's most likely right around the corner with this uh, so I am super 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 excited to see exactly uh, what's going to be coming with farming as well, what other types of, uh, you know, skill sets and stuff that we're going to need to use. Um, so let's have a quick look. Uh, let's go to the next one here. I know it's a bit of, uh, you know, there's some stuff to read here. I'm not going to go through everything, guys. Uh, so you've got your how to grow, which we basically, uh, we, we know how to grow these. You need seeds, you need soil, you need water, uh, you need sun and an adequate temperature as it says from the top. I'm going to work my way up the top and work my way down. That's how we work, so we're going to do that. Uh, also different types of fertilizers that can speed up the growth and produce more uh, crops and fruits or vegetables uh, and everything else that you uh, you want to grow. So taking a look at this page, guys, we're going to be having a look at how to grow plants, constructing of the garden and plants and seeds, etc. Uh, I'm not going to go through every single thing because this will end up being a very long video, but hopefully if I can get this big enough, you guys can pause it and maybe check it out on the big screen uh, and have a little read for yourself rather than having to listen to me read every single thing on here, which we definitely don't want to be doing. Uh, so we've got the how to grow the plants. Obviously, guys, you need soil, you need water, obviously you need the seeds, you need adequate temperature as well, you need the sun, and you can also use different types of fertilizers that can be used to speed up the growth and produce more crops and fruits and vegetables and whatever you're uh, actually trying to grow but temperature does play a very important role so it's going to be very difficult to grow anything up in the cold areas unless they give us something to put inside our base like a, a garden you know like a uh, like a garden house uh I can't remember what they actually call them now, um, but you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying. The glass houses where you uh, the greenhouse, so you, so you can create the greenhouse effect, create some heat in there, and actually grow some plants. Uh, you've also got constructing of the garden as well. Uh, so it tells you what you can actually build, how big they're going to be. You've got enough for four plants and stuff like that. If you get, if you get something else, uh, you might be able to uh, build a two by five, like it says there, for ten plants. Like I said, don't forget to have a little read through this yourself. Um, also, you can uh, pivot and rotate around the axis towards the sky as well. So you can actually move your plants to where the sun actually is. So if the sun's, you know, rises in the east. You can set your plants to sort of like face that way and move them accordingly to how the sun actually moves across the sky uh, over to the west until it hits nighttime as well. Uh, so you can check that out. This is going to be a big learning curve for, for growing as well and it's going to bring a whole new part of the whole economy uh, to, to scum and whatever server you're running at the time. Uh, so you've got the planting seeds. Uh, seeds. The first step is planting a seed for that player. You need a shovel and seeds, a shovel in hand, seeds inventory of vicinity player. You'll get an option to plant the seed when he looks at the ground below. If there are more seeds in his possession, you'll have to choose which seed he wants to plant. This should be determined by a pop-up menu or a circular menu, which if you uh, if you have a look at the, the dev updates, they generally post on Mondays you'll find that it does sound there that they're, they're working on farming widgets. So little things that will pop up and you'd be able to actually check for yourself. Um, and, and, and you can choose the different types of seeds, maybe even see what the flower looks like so you, so you understand exactly what you're growing. Um, also, the procedure is the same way as burying chests and mines. The duration of the action is determined by the player's strength attribute. Uh, and an additional modifier that regulates speed is the player's farming skill level applying the following skill strength values. So you can see here on the next part, you've got the strength level. Dig in time in seconds. So if you've got strength level one, it's going to take you nearly a minute. If you've got strength level eight, it's going to take you 10 seconds. So that's going from the minimum to the maximum amount of time and strength as well. So rather than using the middle, uh, the middle, uh, the middle sort of attribute, we're going to, we're going to go straight from one to eight. So looking at the skill level, dig in time uh, in seconds. So uh, you have no skill is plus five. 
basic is 2.5, medium is zero, advanced is minus 2.5, and advanced plus is minus five. There. The procedure of planting the seeds ends up with a mound of dirt that indicates something that has been buried there. Also, for that point of growth, the seed begins into focus mode. Each plant will give them growth status indicators. One of the indicators presents the amount of water and the other indicates energy received from the sun. That's pretty cool. So then we can actually see exactly how the plant's doing. So, you know, uh, these two parameters will dictate the speed of growth along with the farming skill level. There are also several stages of plant development. Each stage needs certain amounts of resources, water and sun and time to be leveled up to the next stage. So you have stages of plant growth. You have the seeding, which is the first stage, which you can see uh, at the top there. This is the first stage. It involves placing a seed into the ground. Now the growth time is one day growth time. Minimum water, 50 milliliters. Actually needs less, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> Players will trust whatever we say as long as there is no desync. This is true. I'm glad they have acknowledged that. Uh, minimum sun zero hours and optimum average temperature. Uh, depends on the plant. Most seeds germinate from the soil. Temperature is between 15 and 30 degrees. If the growth perimeters are met, minimum water, sun, uh, optimum average temperature, the plant will reach the next stage in one day growth time, which happens in, if, if the perimeters are not met. For each 10 milliliters of water, uh, below the water minimum duration of, uh, of growth is extended by 4.8 hours as well. So basically we're talking about the water here. So, so you've got to make sure you have enough water. Depending on the temperature, if you look at the bottom, you've got the evaporation table. We'll go right to the bottom of this. You guys can have a little read. Uh, the evaporation table. So depending on the temperature of where you are, it will actually evaporate. So you put 10 milliliters of water in. Let's say it's 10 degrees. Uh, you're going to need to double that. So you're going to have to put 12 milliliters of water. Uh, and then you're only going to have, you're basically going to have six milliliters of water that will eventually evaporate. So you need to sort of double that. Um, to actually uh, keep the amount of water that you want in there. Uh, obviously, humidity is ignored. 20 degrees, 10 milliliters of, uh, an hour. 50 degrees Celsius, 1,000 milliliters of water an hour is going to be uh, evaporating. And 100 degrees Celsius, uh, 12,000 milliliters of water. That's that's quite strong, 100 degrees. Um, I'm, yeah, you're not going to grow anything at 100 degrees Celsius. Um, so, vegetating. Uh, the vegetative phase is the second one that defines the stage between germinating and flowering. During the phase, plants are busy carrying out photosynthesis and accumulating resources that will be needed for flowering and reproduction. The flower is 30% of its final size and has visible green leaves. So you can see here, minimum water, one day, minimum sun hours, optimum average temperature between 18 and 30. So again, you don't want to be planting anything up north unless we get a greenhouse or something added. Uh, also, modular base building is being worked on as well, guys. I thought I'd just throw that in there uh, and maybe we might get something in the future uh, with that. So here's another image here, which is uh, which is some of the plants that are growing and stuff. Um, and obviously the marijuana stuff that you guys have seen before. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate that. I'm going to be going away for a week, so I won't be back until the 12th. So any videos or streams will be after the 12th of September. So again, thank you so much for your ongoing support on the channel, guys. Couldn't have done this without you. And I will, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe.